the Mindfulness Guide to Mum and Dad. In a previous blog called Mindfulness Gives You TLC, I explained two of the reasons why I started using mindfulness, and they were to improve the relationship with myself and to improve the relationship with my husband. This blog is about two other reasons why I started mindfulness, and that was to help me with two other really important relationships, the one with my mum and my dad. My relationship with my mum had been fraught with tension for a long, long time, because ever since I was a small child, she had leaned on me for emotional support. But by the time I was 18, I felt really stifled by this, and I couldn't wait to leave home. But even after I'd left home, I could still feel her clinging on to me, and it used to make me feel so angry. So for years, I just swept all this emotion underneath the carpet. But eventually I realised it just couldn't go on. Something needed to change. And if I couldn't change mum, then I needed to change myself. And that's when mindfulness came in to help me. I started off by using it to think about why was she like she was. I started to think about her early history and the fact that her mum had given her away to be brought up by a real old dragon of an aunt. How would I have felt in that situation if it had happened to me? How would I have turned out at the end of it? Perhaps not so different. So I started to feel a little bit more sympathetic to my mum at that stage. And to help me with that um, sympathetic feeling, I started to visualise mum as a twisted up dried old tree. It was stiff, it was rigid, and um, that really described mum's response to life to people, to her relationships and to events that happened to her. In order to try and soften this up, soften up her ability to, to deal with me and other people and the things that happened in life, I needed to give this tree some TLC. I needed to water it in effect. So how was I going to do that? How was I going to get from that aggravated autopilot response to her to one that was generally much kinder, calmer and more considerate? Well, again, mindfulness helped me out here because it gives me or gives you quiet mind space. And in that quiet mind space, inspiration strikes and the answer came through. When she's drowning me with a whole load of negative emotion and just not listening to a single thing I say when I'm trying to get her to be a bit more calmer and reasonable about the situation, I needed to stop that anger rising and just nip it in the bud calm it down. So in order to blunt all of that um, negative stuff that was coming over towards me, I used that visualisation of the tree, remembering that she couldn't be any different to how she was. And if I was in the same, same if I'd been brought up the same way as her, I'd be in the same situation. And that helped a lot. That helped soften me a lot so that I was able to respond to her in a calmer, quieter, more kind type of a way. And she responded brilliantly to that actually. She became less clingy, she became less anxious. That meant I felt freer, a bit easier, more fluid in dealing with her. And so we ended up in a little bit of a virtuous circle. And every time I got a really good response from her, then in my head I could put a green leaf on that tree and imagine her, see her being much more fluid. Now, I would like to say that a few years down the line, my mum has become as soft and bendy as willowy, uh, soft and bendy as a willow, and has got a lush head of green leaves, but she hasn't. She's still the same person she ever was, but I am much better at dealing with her, or at least I am most of the time. So on to my dad, the relationship with my dad, or should I say the non-relationship. You see, my dad was a product of his generation and he thought that daughters should be brought up by their mothers. So our relationship had started stagnating from when I was very small. I thought that that deprived us both and as he was getting more elderly, I felt I needed to try and do something to turn this around. So again, mindfulness helped me. And once more, I used the image of a tree, although this time this was a tree on its own in a huge plain of grasses. This tree, representing my dad, was self-sufficient and it was content with where it was. 
it didn't really recognize the importance of relationships or talking or communication because it was quite happy doing the things it liked to do. In my dad's case, being in his shed and being in his garden. Talking to people, even if it was his daughters, wasn't really that high on his agenda. So I would like to say again that mindfulness made a big impact here, but it didn't make as big an impact as I would like it to have had because he started to develop dementia and became even more difficult to communicate with. But the good thing about doing the mindfulness when I did is it meant that I didn't have any regrets about our relationship. I only regretted that we that I hadn't started doing the mindfulness much, much earlier. So mindfulness has really helped me work on my relationship with my parents and work out what my relationship with my parents really should be like. If any of this sounds similar to your types of relationships, then I would really recommend giving mindfulness a go. It's really helped me. And if you have any questions about anything that we've said, that I've said today, then pop it in the comment box below. I really look forward to hearing from you.